thanks to the new luxurious uh, provided. But <laughs> it may be a while. <laughs> no, here, 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 okay. Okay. okay, we have a motion by Supervisor Solis, seconded by Supervisor Mark Ridley Thomas, without any objection. So ordered. Thank you. We will take up item 45, public hearing. Those who will be testifying will have to be sworn in by the clerk. All those who plan to testify on item 45, please stand and raise your right hand to be sworn in. In the testimony you may give before this board, do you solemnly swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? Okay. We hear from the department. Item 54, this is a hearing on appeal of project TR067861, Coastal Development Permit number 2006000074, located on a portion of lease parcel 9U at the western end of Basin B in the unincorporated community of Marina Del Rey within the Playa Del Rey Zone District. Appeal from Regional Planning's Commission's approval. The department, there is a departmental statement and correspondence was received on this item. Kevin Finkel and I'm with the Department of Regional Planning. The item before you is an appeal of an approval of a proposed hotel in Marina Del Rey. On July 22nd, 2015, the Regional Planning Commission unanimously approved the project with conditions of approval, uh, approved an addendum to a previously certified environmental impact report, and adopted a mitigation monitoring program for the project. The project would construct a 288 room hotel with accessory amenities, including restaurant, meeting, and fitness space, and public improvements including a waterfront promenade and a water bus shelter. A previous design of the proposed hotel was considered by the Regional Planning Commission and the Board of Supervisors during several public hearings that took place between 2008 and 2011. In response to community concerns regarding the proposed height and a timeshare component included in the previous design, the applicant redesigned the hotel to substantially reduce the height and remove the timeshare component. In April 2011, the board remanded the redesigned hotel back to the Regional Planning Commission for further review. The Regional Planning Commission's approval of the redesigned hotel was appealed to the Board of Supervisors on August 5th, 2015. This concludes my statement and staff from Regional Planning and Beaches and Harbors is available for any questions. Any questions? Any questions? Okay, let me call up uh, Elise Hicks. Mary Hobgood, Rick Rhodes, Nina Shankin, Shankin, 